In the early 1930s, Colorado, like the rest of the country, was suffering the unprecedented poverty of the Great Depression. The state was also enduring major drought and dust storms. The New Deal programs created by President Franklin D. Roosevelt sought to put the unemployed to work and boost American confidence. Our greatest primary task is to put people to work. A number of agencies were developed across the country and were known simply by their initials, AAA, NRA, PWA, IRA, TVA, SEC, FDIC, FCC, WPA, and CCC. <laughs> The CCC was one of the most popular and successful programs of FDR's New Deal. Its mission was to beautify forests and parks, conserve farms, and protect graze land by offering training and work to young men who are asked to serve their country by enlisting for six-month periods. In return, they were paid $30 per month, of which $25 was sent to their families back home. In addition to free meals, clothing, and housing, they received free health care, vocational, and high school education. Most of them were young kids that was my age, about 17, 18. In turn, seasoned military personnel were used to train and supervise the enrollees. We had veterans from World War I in there, and uh, just like in the Army. In fact, uh, we had Army regulations and inspections like that that they had in the Army. In fact, I think they were stricter. Camp SCS-7C was located in McMurdo Gulch, four miles northeast of Castle Rock, Colorado. Between 1934 and 1939, it was home to over 600 young men of the Civilian Conservation Corps. McMurdo Gulch opens to the northeast and empties into Cherry Creek, four miles away. The creek formed a drainage outlet for an agricultural as well as grazing region. And it's going down into that camp right there. Yeah. Orville Weiler worked at the camp. I was here three years in uh, Castle Rock. We put uh, contour ditches on the sides of all the hills around so it couldn't wash. And some of those ditches were uh, five miles long. A crew would come along and uh, plant trees in those things. And if they got any rain, they'd hold it there and water those trees and stuff. Camp SCS-7C was originally a drought relief camp. Through its five-year lifespan, the enrollees were involved in various work projects, which included building of dams, diversion ditches, terraces and fences, construction of truck trails, quarrying of stone, surveying of land, tree planting and grass seeding. In addition, they provided emergency assistance during the Castlewood Dam Break of 1933, the Franktown Flood of 1935, and Douglas and Elbert County's devastating grasshopper plague from 1936 to 1938. Every man in camp participated in on-the-job training, which included truck driving and repair, tractor operation, blacksmithing, jackhammer, compressor, and hydraulic grader operation, stone cutting, masonry, contouring, tree planting, seeding, seed collecting, cooking, and office practice. In addition, academic courses and craft classes were available. We had graders and jackhammers and all kinds of stuff. I drove a bulldozer and uh, built some of these, a lot of these dams around here in different counties even. We had a nine-hole golf course out there. And the fairway was just wild grass and rocks. And you go to hit a ball down the fairway, you didn't know where it was going. Because <laughs> it hit a rock and bounced clear off some direction, you know. Nowadays, they would have laughed at it, but we had a lot of fun. Recreation also included baseball, basketball, tennis, volleyball, horseshoes, boxing, and wrestling. 
the camp enjoyed a rec hall with ping pong and pool tables. When we first uh, went in there, we had a mess sergeant who was a vegetarian. He didn't do too good with a bunch of hungry kids, you know. So we got another one that was a cook in World War I. He really knew his stuff, boy, he was good. You'd say something bad about him, you had to fight. Because <laughs> everybody liked him. Everybody gained weight when they was in there. Their mother and fathers hardly recognized them when they'd go home. CCC enrollees in Douglas County collected seeds to plant. In 1935 alone, they collected 1,250 pounds of choke cherry, 867 pounds of ponderosa pine, 2,388 pounds of blue stem, and 3,815 pounds of three-leaf sumac. 1935 also saw the planting of 260,864 peach leaf willows, 92,000 sandbar willows, 1,100 ponderosa pines, and 2,800 snowberry trees. We got a lot of kids from New York that had never been out of the city limits. Gee, I guess when they went home, their folks didn't even know them. You know, they just changed so much. And had rosy complexions and suntans, you know, and gained a lot of weight, you know. Between the years of 1933 and 1942, 32,501 young American men worked to conserve and beautify Colorado's natural resources. The enrollees of the Civilian Conservation Corps received physical, moral, and mental training enabling them to return to their homes better prepared to take care of themselves and their families and better qualified to take their place in society as good citizens. It was the best time I ever had, I think. What I learned in that camp was really a, a help to me.